right guys i'm dominique and i'm carlos and welcome back to two modern vegans all right guys so today we're coming at you with another amazing recipe today we're going to be making jamaican stew peas so real quick just take a second to subscribe and make sure you hit that bell to be notified every time we come out with a new video so this is not the typical jamaican stew peas because there is no animal products in here whatsoever and also we added black eyed peas to it because we like to mix it up and have a variety of different beans in our diet so we hope you guys enjoy it as much as we do let's get into this recipe and here are the ingredients you're gonna need Place two tablespoons of coconut oil in a pan along with one red onion and four garlic cloves, one medium green pepper, and two sprigs of scallion. We're going to stir that up and cook it down until it becomes fragrant and it should look like this. Next we're going to add in our beans, four cups of kidney beans, and two cups of black eyed peas. Once that's added, we're going to stir that up until everything is well incorporated. Next, we're going to add in four cups of our broth. You can use no chicken broth or veg stock. Next, we're going to go in with our spice blend and the ingredients are listed below. And we're going to add in one scotch bonnet pepper and a couple springs of thyme. And of course, the pepper is optional. If you don't like spice, you don't have to add it. Next, we're going to go in with our coconut milk and we use canned coconut milk and make sure that it's full fat. And you're just going to stir that up and then we're going to add in one tablespoon of dark soy sauce or liquid aminos. And once that comes to a boil, we're going to add in our potatoes and our carrots. And you're going to stir that up as well. And then we're just going to cover that up and let it cook down and we're going to go work on our dumplings. All right, so now we're going to add in a cup of flour, a half a teaspoon of salt, and you're going to make sure that you stir that up so it's well incorporated together. And we're going to use about a uh, one third cup of water. You may not need all the water, but you want to put a little bit at a time because you don't want to put too much water and mess up the dough. And you're pretty much just going to add a little bit at a time like I'm doing right now. And then it should form into a stiff dough. And this is just the base for our spinners that we're going to add into the stew peas. So you pretty much just do it like this. Just follow what I'm doing. You really can't mess it up, you guys. And this is how it should look. So we're basically going to pinch off a little bit at a time to form our dumplings. The more you pinch off, the bigger your dumplings will be. So if you want them to be small, you can do a little bit at a time. Um, but it's totally optional of how big you want it to be. It doesn't really matter. I prefer to have them a little bit smaller because I like to have more throughout the entire dish because I love dumplings so much. All right, so once we're done forming our spinners, we're gonna add them to the pot one at a time. In no particular order, it should look something basically like this. And I took the pepper out of ours because I didn't want it to be too spicy since our son has to eat it. But if you like the pepper, definitely leave it in there. It gives it a nice kick. We're gonna stir this up and we're gonna cover it back up and we're gonna allow it to cook for another 15 minutes. And once it's done, the dish basically thickens up and this is how it should look. Everything is cooked and it's ready to be eaten. And here we made our plate. We had it with a side of jasmine rice and we topped it with some leftover scallions. But yeah, this is our dish, you guys. We hope that you enjoy it as much as we did. We hope that you enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And also, you guys, send us feedback if you do make this dish or anything else that we put out there for you guys, okay? We love to hear from you guys. And until next time, 
We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.